What if the Ice Age's most fearsome predator could teach us secrets about survival today? Watch as the largest hunter of its time dominates the prehistoric world. Before we dive into the fascinating world of the short-faced bear, take a moment to like this video and subscribe for more incredible stories about extinct animals, prehistoric mysteries, and the natural world. It helps us bring these amazing stories to life, and you won't want to miss what's coming next. Today we're exploring the short-faced bear, the largest bear to ever walk the earth. By the end of this video, you'll uncover how this Ice Age giant lived, hunted, and ultimately disappeared, and what its story reveals about the bears we know today. And stick around, because we'll reveal a surprising connection between this prehistoric predator and modern bears, one that might change how you see today's wildlife forever. To understand the short-faced bear, we need to step back in time, around 1.5 million years ago, when this apex predator first appeared in North America. Known scientifically as Arctodus simus, it was part of the bear family tree but stood apart as a truly unique species. Imagine a bear standing 13 feet tall on its hind legs, weighing up to 2,000 pounds. Its long limbs and narrow body weren't just for show, they were built for speed, making it a predator unlike any other. The short-faced bear wasn't just fast, it was an apex predator. And like all apex predators, it had a crucial role in its ecosystem. Its large size and powerful build allowed it to dominate a wide variety of prey, from smaller mammals to even larger herbivores. In fact, it was one of the top predators of the Ice Age. While it might have hunted large herbivores, it also scavenged, feeding on carcasses left by other predators. Imagine this bear, capable of taking down anything in its path. Its role as both a hunter and a scavenger made it an incredibly efficient and deadly creature of its time. Fossil discoveries of the short-faced bear have provided us with valuable insights into its existence. The remains of this giant have been uncovered across North America, from the western United States to Canada. What's most striking about these fossils is the size and structure of its bones, especially the long limbs and massive skull. Paleontologists believe the bear could stand up to 13 feet tall on its hind legs. The fossils reveal a creature built for both speed and power adaptations that were perfect for its environment. These remains continue to fuel research into the life of this ancient predator. Interestingly, the short-faced bear wasn't a true bear in the way we think of today's grizzlies and polar bears. It belonged to the genus Arctodus and is considered part of the bear family, but it was significantly different in terms of size, shape, and behavior. It evolved to be much taller and more streamlined than today's bears, with long legs and a slender body making it an efficient runner. Some scientists believe that the short-faced bear was even faster than modern-day predators, such as the lion or the cheetah, capable of outrunning most of its prey. This unique evolutionary path set it apart as one of the most formidable predators of its time. The extinction of the short-faced bear remains a subject of intense debate. Many paleontologists believe that a combination of climate change and human activity contributed to its disappearance. As the Ice Age ended and the climate began to warm, many of the bear's primary prey species, such as the mammoth and giant ground sloth, started to dwindle. The bear's specialized hunting style, reliant on large prey, may have been a significant disadvantage as the environment shifted. Additionally, the arrival of humans and the pressures they put on large animals likely contributed to the bear's eventual extinction. Despite its massive size and strength, the short-faced bear couldn't adapt quickly enough to these drastic changes. Though the short-faced bear has been extinct for thousands of years, its legacy lives on in human folklore and modern-day legends. Some indigenous tribes of North America have myths and stories about giant, bear-like creatures that once roamed the land. While these stories are likely rooted in the existence of other large prehistoric predators, some speculate that they could also be referencing the short-faced bear. Could the memories of this massive creature have been passed down through generations in the form of myth and legend? Perhaps the stories of giant, fearsome bears aren't just imagination, but echoes of an ancient past when the short-faced bear ruled the land. Did you know the short-faced bear wasn't just a predator? It was also one of the Ice Age's most efficient scavengers. With its powerful sense of smell, it could detect carcasses from miles away, much like today's vultures. But its jaw strength tells another story. 
Fossil evidence suggests it could crush bones to access nutrient-rich marrow, a survival advantage in the harsh Ice Age environment. The short-faced bear roamed vast territories across North America, from icy tundras to dense forests. Its size and speed allowed it to dominate over other predators, including dire wolves and saber-toothed cats. But this expansive range came with challenges. The Ice Age climate was harsh, and competition for food was fierce. But not everything was in the short-faced bear's favor. As the Ice Age ended, rising temperatures reshaped its world. Forests replaced open tundras, limiting the bear's ability to roam freely. Prey species dwindled, and the arrival of humans introduced a new competitor. Could early humans have hunted this giant to extinction? While direct evidence is scarce, the overlap in time and territory suggests they might have played a role, either through hunting or competition for resources. Does this mean the fate of the short-faced bear was sealed the moment humans entered the picture? Or was it simply a victim of a changing world? And here's that surprising connection. Scientists have found that modern bears, like the grizzly and polar bear, share certain genetic traits with their Ice Age relatives. For example, the grizzly's endurance and the polar bear's adaptability to extreme climates may echo what made the short-faced bear such a formidable creature in its time. This connection isn't just fascinating, it's a reminder of how evolution shapes species to survive against all odds. Studying the short-faced bear helps us understand the resilience of life, even in the face of massive change. As Dr. Ross McPhee, a leading paleontologist, says, Extinction reminds us of the fragility of ecosystems. By understanding these ancient giants, we can better protect the species of today. So what can we learn from the short-faced bear? It's not just about size or power. It's a story of adaptation, survival, and the delicate balance of ecosystems. As we face challenges like climate change and habitat loss today, the fate of this Ice Age giant reminds us how interconnected life truly is. Here's a fun fact. Despite its massive size, the short-faced bear could run as fast as a horse, an incredible feat for such a giant predator. Now here's an interesting thought. Could the short-faced bear have survived into modern times, evolving into the cryptid we know as Bigfoot? While it may sound like a wild theory, the similarities in size and strength between the bear and the legendary creature are striking. Could there be a connection, or is it just a coincidence? I'd love to hear your thoughts on this one. If you want me to dive deeper into this theory in a future video, let me know in the comments below. Should we explore the possibility that Bigfoot is actually a surviving short-faced bear? Your feedback will help me decide. What do you think caused the extinction of the short-faced bear? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this journey into the Ice Age, give this video a thumbs up and share it with someone who loves prehistoric creatures. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Your support keeps us going, and we can't wait to share our next adventure with you. But before you go, if you're fascinated by mysterious creatures like the short-faced bear theory, you'll want to check out my latest video where I explore seven cryptids from every continent, including Antarctica. I dive into the stories of legendary creatures like Sasquatch, the Yeti, and more. Want to know what cryptid might be lurking on your continent, or curious about the strange creatures of Antarctica? Click the link and watch the full video now. And don't forget to share your thoughts. Do you think Bigfoot could be a surviving short-faced bear? Let's keep the conversation going.